Hey, welcome to Perian Flax's guide to the Dota 2 map. First of all, let me tell you, as a new player to Dota 2, the biggest surprise to me was that it's just the one map and that the map never changes. It's carved into a giant stone slab kept at Valve headquarters and it will never, ever, ever change except for when they maybe change it just a little bit. Anyway, you can't say, oh, this map sucks for Dyer, or oh, I hate this map, or no, or oh, or go through one of those tedious map switching, map voting bullshit you have to put up with in most other games because the map is the map. It's like chess in that regard. Chess wouldn't be chess if sometimes the guys used a different shaped board, uh, although it might make it interesting to watch, or at least more interesting to watch. But um, I'll go first, by the way. Uh, checkmate, I believe. Um, the map in Dota 2 is roughly divided into the top lane, the middle lane, the jungle, and the bottom lane. The top lane uh, runs along the left-hand side of the map for Radiant, along the top edge for Dyer, sometimes called the easy lane by Dyer, and there's a statue, um, as you will see later. The middle lane is tough. It's for good players only. People will pick heroes they know can go mid, or they'll pick heroes they can't go mid, but insist that they deserve to go mid, and then they won't back down. You'll sometimes see a tri-lane mid in the early stages. This is entirely normal. Please don't panic. Bottom lane, sometimes called easy lane by the Radiant dudes. Trust me, it's never easy in lane, ever. People say it's easy because it's your jungle you hang out next to, but so what? You're just as likely to get screwed over in the bottom lane as you are in any other lane. So ignore that easy lane bullshit, okay? The jungle. You've seen Predator, right? If not, see it, because it's a great action movie. In my opinion, one of the most perfect action movies ever made. But it teaches you one thing. Stay out of the fucking jungle, alright? Heed that advice. Don't go in there. Uh, there's a mini-map too, which is also important. Why is the mini-map so important? Well, let's ask Dota and Boots. Mini map, 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 mini map. Hola, Dota. Hola, mini map. Hola, boots. I'm the mini map. Where do you want to go? Where should we go, boots? Great. I like that too. Anyway, what is the map made up of? Well, there's two bases, the Radiant and the Dyer. The Radiant down south, Dyer up north. If you live in the UK, this is 100% accurate. Up north, all they eat is Welks and Black Pudding, which is just congealed blood, and Chavs. Down south, we get fed like a nature's prophet with a hand of Midas, and we don't fry things that aren't meant to be fried. Up north, they you can get everything fried, from a Mars bar to a breakfast cereal. And they wear fried clothes, and they fry their cars, and they even fry their houses. They're animals. Um, that house does look delicious, though, doesn't it? Anyway, the map consists of a series of concentric tower circles that you need to take out. Sometimes you might hear people refer to backdooring. No, it's not like a hacking thing that they do in a movie about computer hackers, where they get a nerd in, and he does some hacking just going... And they spend five minutes on his computer typing like crazy, and he just guesses the password to the Pentagon computer and announces, We're in! Uh, this is actually about taking out a tower that's behind enemy lines, sort of backdooring them. Don't do it, it's way too hard. Uh, there's a river. The river, as it turns out, was a fucking death trap. I was always told to stay away from water when I was a child, probably because my head is entirely made of paper mache with buttons for eyes and a big smiley mouth, and I would melt. But also because water is really, really, really dangerous, and uh, in Dota 2, that's no different. The water is this sort of valley where you have no vision and everyone on the banks of the river can see you. It's scary, man. It's proper scary. Avoid the shit out of it. But the only good thing about the river is the rune. The rune is like... It's kind of mysterious item I hear people talking about in a whispered voice. Ooh, the rune is top. I never play mid, so it doesn't matter to me. I just, if I happen to be near it and I'm wandering around, I'll be, thanks for the advice, guys, and I'll pick it up. Uh, and it does make some people very angry. But if it's a haste or an invisible rune, you'll be long gone before they can catch you, so it doesn't matter. It's kind of like a power-up in Mario Kart, really. But, um, uh, yeah, I actually took a short trip to the Dota 2 map with my, uh, with my friend Lich. We had a lovely time, and uh, we took lots of photos, which I've made into this charming slideshow. I do hope you enjoy it. Let me just get my projector going here. There we go. Yeah, this is the ancient uh, that uh, me and Lich... 
I took a picture from by it. It's pretty nice. Uh, that's Roshan. He was charming. There's quite a funny story about uh, uh, with no time. Um, this is there were some interesting frogs in the river. We hadn't noticed. Uh, now the locals had set up a line of donkeys here for some reason. Uh, and they were expecting to stop the creeps, but they just ran right through. It was really something to see. Um, they were extremely upset. Uh, the donkeys were fine, of course. No donkeys were harmed in the making of that uh, image. Uh, these are some of the other locals. There were some kind of weird centaur dudes, uh, some big rock dudes. They were very unfriendly, the rock dudes. Um, I'm not quite sure what these things are, but there, there was a lot of them. Um, then, they, yeah, these were kind of the same thing. They had a box of beer with them, so we thought they might be drunk. Um, and then there were these guys. I'm, uh, we got into a bit of an argument with them, and, and Lich kind of, you know, it's... Oh, dear. It was it was an ugly scene, I must say. Uh, it did not end well for the locals, but, um, you know, a little bit of money for me and Lich to spend in the pub later. So what are you going to do? Uh, and that's basically our holiday there. Um, we did take in some of the local uh, architectural sites, like this ancient statue, which had been left to rack and ruin. And here is an ancient uh, sort of floor mosaic uh, near the Radiant Base. And there was a similar one up near the Dyer Base. But uh, the locals didn't really take kindly to us hanging around. So we made ourselves scarce. And, um, and that was that. We went and hid in the woods. And, and that was the end of our holiday. But we had a good time. If you enjoyed my video, please do check out my channel and subscribe if you liked it a lot. I have a whole bunch of vids about Dota 2, and uh, yeah, please check out my channel. Uh, I post on Twitter a bit as well, and uh, you can always find me in-game. 